My name is Mark Bridge. I'm responsible for the Climbers Forum here at the German Tree Care Days. And as such, I'm responsible for putting a program together with my colleagues from the, the panel. Our idea or our wish for the Climbers Forum is to annually be able to present three days of climber and climbers re related topics that tell stories or that evolve topics that enable dialogue and I think we're not even trying to do something that's new necessarily every time but what we have here which is unique is a group of replicators who go out into the industry they are people who get involved in the dialogue who help us identify problems and solutions so it's not about presenting new stuff all the time it can be basics it really doesn't matter um, but the quality is important to us and a depth of discussion so what was really exciting this year was that for the first time we have everything indoors in Hall 3. We have the new drop tower, which is a seven and a half metre high tower, um, as well as a tree stand and the new LED screen, which in future will allow us to explore new formats, new topics, uh, multimedia displays involving a real-time data projection or combined theatre and stuff on the tower or films running on the screen. So I'm really excited to, dis to explore these formats further for future events here in Augsburg. Well, guten tag, mein Damen und mein Herr. This is Don Blair. I'm from uh, the United States. My family's been in tree care since 1911. And here we are in Augsburg at the uh, 20th annual uh, German Baumfliege conference. I was asked to come and discuss my contributions to the evolution, design, and advancement of uh, climbing gear and tree saddles. And from what I see here, it's just marvelous. And this Climbers Forum, we have nothing like this in the United States, where this many climbers come away from work they come inside, and most climbers like to be outside, and go into such detail on specific topics, such as one-handed chainsaw use. It's been, uh, this has just been a wonderful experience.